Electricity powers the modern world. Without it, industry and transport would grind to a halt, and our cities would be plunged into darkness. In America alone, over 15,000 power stations generate almost 4 trillion kilowatt hours of electricity every year. But ensuring all that power arrives where and when we need it is a logistical nightmare. So, how do they do it? It's 8 a.m. in Philadelphia, and Tom Kaiser is on his way to work. Unlike most people, Tom's office isn't in an office building several hundred feet up. It's actually several floors down in a huge, high-security underground bunker. The reason for all this security is that this is the heart of the electricity power grid, and Tom is part of a team that is responsible for ensuring 51 million people across 13 different states are kept supplied with the power they need. We take you know, all kinds of actions to make sure that uh, the system won't be put in jeopardy. This central control room is manned 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Up to 50 people work here at any one time, monitoring this vast board, which shows the output of over a thousand different power stations. Their job is to make sure the stations deliver power to the main grid exactly at the moment it's needed. As demand goes up, they need to switch more stations online. As it goes down, they have to take stations offline. Too much or too little power, and the entire electricity supply system will fail, and 51 million people will be without power. It's a difficult balancing act when things go as expected. But barely 10 minutes after Tom has arrived at work, he's faced with an urgent problem. A uh, major unit just tripped offline out in the western part of the system. Uh, we, don't, we didn't get a phone call yet for the reason why it tripped. With a major power station no longer supplying its share of power to the grid, there's now a shortage of electricity. Tom and his team have to act fast to find a way to make up for the shortfall. But this isn't the only problem. 30 miles away, a tropical storm is blowing in from the south, and before it hits, there's a major stretch of cables in need of urgent repairs. Back at the grid control center, Tom Kaiser is dealing with the power shortage caused by the failed power station. A uh, major unit just tripped offline, but we're taking action now to recover from it. To make up for the shortfall, he's calling on one of the power stations kept in a state known as spinning standby. If it doesn't recover right away, we'll go out with spinning. These stations are kept constantly ready for just this kind of emergency. And with the correct power once again flowing to the grid, the crisis is averted. Tom breathes a sigh of relief, knowing he won't have 13 million people calling him up to complain about their power supply. Meanwhile, 180 miles away in Philadelphia, Joe Bloggs can fix a cup of coffee and settle down to watch How Do They Do It on TV, oblivious to the tremendous effort taking place behind the scenes to bring this essential, invisible power to our homes, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year.